Halloween's over? How about we do another clash? This time it'll be 80s style. Hey guys, it's me, KC, every Kids with the Kids Shows, and today we are doing a cartoon clash of Transformers and G.I. Joe! We have a legendary battle between these two 80s Kaikons. And now let's get started with round one, the intro. <laughs> Show you the intros and play them for you. But you know, copyright claims. So instead I'll just tell you about them. That's what that's all I can do. Let's start with the Transformers intro, shall we? The Transformers intro is electrifying. It's packed with action, showcasing the Autobots and the Decepticons battling out for the control of Cybertron. And the catchiest song you get stuck in your head for days. It's pretty much right up there with the DuckTales theme songs. Transformers, more than meets the eye. On the other hand, G.I. Joe, a real American hero, delivers an adrenaline pumping intro as well. Introducing the G.I. Joe team, their vehicles, and their mission to defend freedom. Uh, the Patriarch is theme song is hard to resist. Both are fantastic, but I have to give the edge to Transformers. Its futuristic setting and epic battles makes it an iconic opening that still holds up today. Alright, next round. Main character and characters. Now, let's dive into the second round where we compare the main characters of both shows starring Transformers where we have Optimus Prime, the brave and noble leader of the Autobots. Optimus Prime embodies heroism and selflessness. He is a natural born leader who always puts the needs of others before his own. His iconic voice and strong moral compass makes for a fan favorite character. Now turning the attention to G.I. Joe, we have the whole team aim up main characters. Duke, Scarlet, Snake Eyes, and Roadblock are just a few memorable characters that makes up for the elite force. Each member of the G.I. Joe team brings a unique skill and personality traits to the table. They work together to come back to ruthless Cobra organization and protect the world from their, its evil plans. While well, it's tough to choose between the single main character and a device team, I'll have to give the edge to Transformers. Optimus Prime's iconic status and unwavering heroism makes him an unforgivable leader. Alright, next round, and that's supporting characters. <laughs> Moving to the third round, now let's shift to our focus to the supporting characters in both shows. These characters often add depth and humor to the series. In the Transformers, we have the memorable characters like Bumblebee, Jazz, and Spike Wick Wiki. The supporting characters of Transformers brings a wide range of personalities and abilities to the mix. From Bumblebee's loyalty, to Sam Wick Wiki being the helpful friend that he is, they have good character moments here and there in the show. Now the supporting character of the G.I. Joe team is... already had G.I. Joe as the G.I. Joes. There are not really much supporting characters here. Now, some normal ones are like Lady J, the tomboyish... his gal with the spear. Her Flint, probably the, one of the most main leaders of the G.I. Joe team, next to Duke. And lastly, my personal favorite, Shipwreck. He brings a lot of personality to the G.I. Joe team. 
tough call, probably give it to G.I. Jill for having a more wide range of supporting characters and racially diverse. Let's get into the villains, shall we? <laughs> Now, let's explore the villains of our fourth round. Both Transformers and G.I. Joe features a rogues gallery of former adversaries. In Transformers, we have the treacherous Decepticons, led by the iconic Megatron. Megatron is a ruthless and cunning villain, and constantly plotting to conquer the universe and defeat the Autobots. Alongside him, with, we have Starscream. In Soundwave and other Decepticons that bring their own unique brand of evil. On the G.I. Joe side, we have the nefarious Cobra organization led by Cobra Commander and its ruthless henchmen like Destro and Baroness. They scheme to overthrow the government and unleash chaos upon the world. Both sides of villains are iconic in their own right, but I have to give a slight edge to the Transformers. Megatron's commanding presence and and the contact struggling between Autobots and Decepticon makes him an epic rivalry between him and Optimus Prime. And that rivalry stood the test of time. Let's get into the final round, shall we? And that is story. Transformers explores the ongoing battle between Autobots and Decepticons. Their quest for Energon, and their struggles to protect Earth as for destruction. It combines elements of science fiction, adventure, and morality, creating a compelling world. On the other hand, G.I. Joe focuses on the G.I. Joe team's mission to thwart the plans of Cobra from world domination. It showcases themes of patriotism, heroism, teamwork, all wrapped into one thrilling epic storyline. This one is a tough decision, but I have to give the slight edge to Transformers. Its expansive universe, rich mythology, and endured legacy makes it a standout in terms of storytelling. This was a tough one, let me tell ya. But it was worth it. Now I want to hear from you. Do you think Transformers is really better than G.I. Joe, or do you think G.I. Joe is better? Let me know in the comment section below and tell me what you want to see in the next cartoon clash. And that's all for today guys, see you all next time. Farewell friends, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to check out all other social media pages. The links will be in the description below.